Hey DIYers, Dylan here with Alarm Grid. Today we're going to go over how to get a uh, Zeus ZEN16 relay connected to your Pro A7 Plus system. This is going to be used if you want to connect a wired siren to your system. Uh, you can't connect the siren to the actual alarm system itself. And if you're using the Pro 6 C2W, which is a wired to wireless converter, you cannot connect the siren through there as well. Uh, so you'll need to use a relay such as the ZEN16. So I'm going to go over how to wire that first, and then we're going to get that paired to the system, test it, and I'm also going to show you how you can set up a, a smart scene uh, through Total Connect to get that working as well. All right, so we're going to do our wiring first, and then we'll pair all this to our alarm system, uh, and then we'll test it, just make sure everything's working properly. So instead of a siren, we're going to be using a strobe light here. We have the uh, Zeus ZEN16. We have the AD12612 power supply, and we have our uh, 1361 transformer. Uh, now there are battery connectors as well, but just for this, we're not gonna connect the battery, um, but that's good if you uh, want to have that backup battery option in case the power goes out, you can keep this live and active. Okay, so first uh, we are going to get our uh, wiring done on the uh, Zeus relay. So for this, you're gonna want to first connect, well, the order doesn't really matter, but as long as you have everything wired properly, but first thing I'm gonna do is I'm connect our little jumper wire here to the uh, positive red output, and then the uh, R1 terminal that's closest to the left here. Connect those. And I'm not gonna tighten the terminals just yet because we're gonna be doing some more wiring for those. I'm going to connect our red wire from our siren, or in this case, our strobe. Realize I put that in the wrong relay one terminal. So the one all the way to the left here. And then for this one, I'm gonna connect our red from the siren or the strobe. And then we're not gonna connect anything else to this. I'm just gonna close that right now. Okay, nice and secure. We're going to connect uh, some wiring from the relay to our power supply. I'll grab my wire for that. So from the black negative terminal, and put our black wire. We have nothing else connecting to that, so I'm gonna tighten that now. And then we're going to connect the red to the red. I'll just re-loosen that. Okay. Reattach our jumper. Let's tighten these up. Okay, nice and secured. Okay, nice tug, everything is nice and secured there. And that's gonna be uh, essentially all the wiring we'll do for the relay. All right, so now we're gonna move over to our power supply here. Okay, so from the wire that we have connected to the red and black terminals on the relay, we're gonna connect these to our power supply. Black will go to the uh, DC negative terminal and red will go to the plus output.
loosen these. Okay, nice and secured. Oh, actually, let me loosen this minus DC because that's also where we're going to put the black wire from our siren. So let me reconnect that. And tighten. Okay, nice. Tug, make sure everything's secure. Okay, so we have the relay and the power supply. So now we're going to wire the power supply to our transformer. And since this is AC, there's no polarity, so there's no negative or positive, uh, as you can see here. And then for the 1361 uh, or similar transformers, really. You don't have to connect anything to the ground, so we're just going to connect AC to AC, AC to AC. So we'll wire up the transformer first. And again, no polarity, so it doesn't really matter which colors go to which. Make sure the wiring is nice and snug in there. And the wiring over here. Okay. Oh, let me just get that back. All right, nice and secure. Then the other end of the wire, again, there's no polarity, so it doesn't matter. You don't have to follow the colors. You just want to get the two AC wires connected. These are into place, make sure they're secure. All right, and nice tug. Everything is secured. Jumper secured, siren secured, transform secured. Okay, so now we're gonna move over to the Pro A7 Plus. Uh, to start, we're gonna go to the bottom three bars uh, menu icon. We're gonna scroll until we get to tools. At tools, we're gonna enter our installer code. Ours is still set as the default of 4112. We're going, to go, we're going to go to Programming, and then Z-Wave Peripheral, since it's a Z-Wave uh, Z Relay. Okay, so when you are pairing Z-Wave devices, the best practice is to exclude it first. So we're going to go to the Exclusion Mode. We're going to press the Function key, which is on the back of the device itself, right here. One, two, three. All right, excluded. All right, now we're going to go into inclusion mode. I'm going to press that same button here. One, two, three. All right, device found. Just let this learn in. All right, perfect, so it's included. Okay, now we're gonna test this. So I'm gonna go to Enrolled Devices. Uh, when you're using the Zeus Relay, it's always gonna learn in as a light. Um, so that cannot be changed, but it's still gonna function uh, as it should. I'm gonna press the On option here. 
We're going to hear a click from the relay and then our uh, strobe will power on. Okay, perfect. I'm going to power that off. Excellent. All right. Okay, so now that that's paired, we're going to set up a smart scene uh, through Total Connect 2. And I'm going to have that scene trigger our siren or strobe when the alarm is in alarm mode. So we're jumping over to Total Connect now. Okay, so here we are in Total Connect 2. Uh, I'm going to go into Scenes. We're going to create a scene. All right, this first scene is to turn our siren or strobe on. Uh, we're going to do this triggered by a device, the security system, and uh, burglary alarm and fire alarm. Well, you have to create one for each. So in this case, we're going to do burglary alarm. Uh, if you want this trigger to trigger during a fire alarm as well, you're going to create a separate scene. Uh, same thing. So it's going to ask you your scene name. Your scene trigger will be triggered by a device, security system, and then instead of burglary, you'll press fire alarm. All right, so that is set. Continue. Device, turn on. Now device one is our siren. If we had set a custom name for that, uh, it would show the custom name there, so we're going to save. Okay, and I'm going to create a second scene. Turn off. So this will be when we disarm the system, so triggered by a device, security system, disarm. We're going to have device one or our siren or strobe turn off. Continue and save. Perfect. Now when you create scenes in Total Connect to make sure that they're synced to the actual alarm system, you're going to go to Location. You're going to go to uh, Sync Panel. Alright, we're going to go to Activities. And when this is completed, we're going to see Automation Sync successful. Uh, this can take a few minutes, so just be patient with it. As you can see right here, that was from a previous uh, panel sync. It did learn in the actual automation device. And then while we're here, so if we go to devices and total connect, it shows what we've paired to the panel. You can customize it here uh, as a switch light. Now this doesn't change how it is in the actual panel. Um, so in our case, just to keep it consistent since it showed up, showed up as a light uh, in our alarm panel, I'm gonna set it to a light here. All it does is just change the icon. It doesn't really do anything uh, past that. And then I'll show you, just like we did at the panel itself, you can trigger it from Total Connect and then have that turn on and off. Might be taking a little bit because we are doing that sync. Let's see here. Okay, so automation sync successful. Uh, our light is on. Strobe is flashing. I'm going to turn that off so I can then run the scenes. Okay.
Okay, so since we've tested that manually from Total Connect, it sent over the signal. We saw our strobe going off. We know that it's functioning. And then it is logged there in the activities. Uh, so now let's just check. We have our two scenes for turn on and turn off. So I'm going to I'm going to trigger a panic alarm on our Pro A7 Plus. Now, obviously, if you do have a sensor programmed uh, and you trigger this while it's armed, that can trigger the siren as well. Okay, so since we have everything set now, we have our scenes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and arm the system. Uh, I'm going to arm it from Total Connect here, but you can also arm it at the panel itself, and this scene will trigger either way. So I'm going to do arm home. Arm home. Okay, that's going to send a signal over to our panel. It's going to uh, start the exit delay. That's going to give you time to exit the building while the system is arming so you don't trip the alarm. Uh, by default, that is 60 seconds. So we're going to let that count down. All right, the system is armed, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and trigger our front door. So I'm gonna open the door, that's gonna activate the entry delay. The entry delay allows you to get to the alarm panel before the alarm is triggered. All right, our alarm is triggered. We have the siren uh, triggering as well. I'm gonna clear that. Not ready to arm. All right, system is disarmed and our strobe is turned off. So it shows our scenes are working that we created in Total Connect. Um, that's clear arm. there. I'm gonna go ahead and close our front door. Okay, and uh, we have everything working, perfect. Okay, so that is how you get the Zeus ZEN16 connected to your Pro A7 Plus system. Uh, we got it wired all correctly. We tested it through the panel itself, uh, through the manual option. And then we also set up our scene in Total Connect 2 so we can have that go without us needing to turn it on and off. And so it will sound, or in our case light up, uh, when the alarm is triggered. If you did enjoy the video, please like the video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for any notifications about future videos. Uh, if you have any questions for us, feel free to reach out. Our phone number is 888-818-7728. You can contact us through email as well. The email address is support at alarmgrid.com. And if you're on our website, www.alarmgrid.com, we have a live chat option on there as well. So feel free to reach out and we'll be happy to assist you. Again, my name is Dylan from Alarm Grid and thank you for watching.